From the News Channel 8 studios, this is Let's Talk Live. If you're looking for a good way to spend a meaningful time with your loved ones, you know, the kids, it's a hectic time of year. The mm -hmm. kids are back to school, you're back to work, and yeah, you need some help getting in the swing of things, getting your situation situated. Cindy Bragg is here, the whoopee queen, and she's going to tell us how to do that. <laughs> how do you do it, Cindy? We need to spend better time you know, with our loved ones. You know, um, quality time. Quality time, quality time. Uh, a lot of people right now have BMS. Not PMS, BMS. Okay. <laughs> Back to school manic <laughs> syndrome. It is crazy. <laughs> I don't know why they don't prep, you know, people, moms, and even the highways and the streets right. are just congested and it makes everybody a little wonky. Uh -huh. So I um, was reading this article in Dr. Oz and he had, uh, it was about how to have quality time in less time. And so I was looking through it and I'm like, how could I, I test some of this stuff yeah. and mm -hmm. put my spin on it, you know, my whoopee, whoopify it, make it you know, a little bit more practical because some of the stuff, the advice they give you is like, uh, I don't think so. Well, let's start right. with friends, how we can have better quality time with our friends. Okay. So, you know, less disruptions. A lot of times you go to dinner and you, or you're having coffee with somebody and they're on the phone, right? Exactly. Do you ever experience that? I have two cell phones. I have a personal and a work one. Uh -huh. So yeah. when you're out with me, it's like this, which is horrible. So, wow. you know, if I was with you, I would probably, if you were not like being attentive, and I'm not talking about like complete, but like mm -hmm. you're just completely distracted. And I did this to a friend a couple years ago. I went to, I said, excuse myself, she didn't even notice because she was too preoccupied. Mm -hmm. I texted her and said, Let's reschedule oh. when you're um, able to actually take a break. Oh. Wow. And I left. Oh, wow. Bold. I mean, like, the phone is not your friend. If you're going to be with your friend, I be agree. with your friend. Put it on vibrate. Right. Hope you get a lot of calls. <laughs> Could right. be a good experience. Right. But, you know, I just, I have a, so my take on it is, and a way to get a two for one is to, like, go on a walk with a friend. Mm -hmm. And that way you're out and about, you're getting some exercise in, and just put your phone on vibrate. And you can do it. There are apps that allow you to track how far you go and how many steps you've taken. So that's good. Fewer distractions if you want to have better quality time with your friends. I like okay. this next one about your love life and creating a bit of a routine with mm -hmm. your loved one. Mm -hmm. Do something once a week that's just the two of you. So studies have shown that people who have you know, rituals and meaningful relationships right. actually have a more meaningful relationship. They have more satisfaction in the relationship. And so one of the tips is to like, you know, have a date night once a week. And a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. Or have, a, you know, a walk that you take on Sunday morning. And I feel like those are great. A lot of people can't afford, I mean, like, you know, to go right. out every Saturday or Friday night and right. go on a fancy date night. Right. right? We're so not Giselle and Tom. We're not Giselle and Tom. Although, what we could do with that money. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so plan on doing something together is now, what you're saying. Yeah, and so what my husband and I do is we go on, we have a back porch and we go every night and we have a drink. Now, I brought Perrier, mm. but we might be having something else. Okay. A cocktail. And yeah, we if you're going to have up. a drink with your loved one, Perrier, make, a, make, so a, we, make a vodka. Perrier. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put a little in there. But no, we, um, and we just catch up like five mm -hmm. minutes. And so, I mean, you know, I love the date night. I love going out to sure. dinners and, you know, right. movies and stuff like that. But I would, you know, I need more than just once a week. I right. need to connect. So uh, that's my tip on that one. Try to find a little five minutes catch up in the day. All right, okay. let's talk about the chores at home. Yeah. yeah. Now, the advice on this one was that, you know, uh, no one chops alone, which I thought was hilarious because I have a 12-year-old and a 9-year-old. Okay. And, you know, for me to say that everybody has to participate in chores, they're just going to be laughing at mm -hmm. my face, you know. <laughs> so what I try to do is, is to really... Um, make things more fun. So if we're, we're like in the process of cleaning out our basement and you know it looks like a hoarder's place right now but what I did <laughs> is I put a disco ball down there okay. and we blast the music. I, ha I have a disco ball I brought along and I have it in my car because I don't like carpooling. Uh, it's uh -oh. Give it a whack. She's been using Give it, it a it's, while. It's been used. There, there we go. go. There we go. And so try to make whatever feels mundane <laughs> a little bit more fun. You know, that's what I say to do. With sure. The kids. Blast the music if you're cooking. If you want people to participate in anything, add a little fun to it, and I swear to you, people will be drawn They'll to that. Do it. Yes. Okay. You know what? I have a good friend. His mother played music every time on Saturday mornings, blasted old Paul Simon records. And he remembers that. And they all cleaned the house and Gave him appreciation for Paul Simon music and there you, you go. Call me Al. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like a flashback. Get the yeah. kids listening to the Beatles and Except get a disco really ball that works. Put some new batteries in that disco that ball. That disco ball has been working around. Okay, so what's up with the clock? That's just for time. How to have quality time. Okay. And the last tip that I really liked that they gave was that you know sometimes you have to skip the kids stuff. Like if you have a deadline and mm -hmm. you're frantic and you have a ballet recital that you're right. supposed to see for your daughter or mm -hmm. son. Um, you're going to be frantic. Like sometimes skip 
just set, just like take a pass. Right. I mean, in the airplane, they say, you know, put the oxygen mask on first. Right. And then put it on your kid. Right. You've got to take care of yourself, too, or you're going to be, you know, for me, a raging. You can't be the best yeah. mom if you're no. not taking care of yourself. Right. No. And right. you have to be okay with, I'm going to miss this. Right. This mm -hmm. isn't the end of the world. I don't, remember, I don't remember if my mom went to all my soccer games. I didn't want to be there to begin with, but that was <laughs> you don't fun. Even remember. See, that gives me a good excuse. But I don't know. But you know, but sure. Know. As long as your mom can make other time for you later on in the day or the week or something, right. that's what's important. Right. It's just spending time together. Right. Great yeah. advice. All right. From Quality Cindy time. Bragg, the Whoopi Queen. Whoop. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Thank I'm a big you. fan. Great to meet you too. You guys are doing great.